old love has no sun But I'm gonna shine like Kobe Allah has no suns But I'm gonna shine like Kobe That's my name You call me Kobe You call me Kobe Cause that's my name I'm shining bright You see the light You hear this true You know it's right Allah has no suns But I'm gonna shine I'm the sun That knows the time Now I'm just messing around You see what I'm saying Let me turn this down for y'all This is right here Only available to you in the house of David I'm just praising Allah And I praise him In the beauty of holiness Because I was born holy I came from heaven My origins is of heaven Okay, I descended upon St. Joseph's Hospital in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The address is 700 Broadway. Had a brother rapping by the name of Benjamin Broadway, 700 and Stunner. And Allah told me he was rapping about me that I was really him. And he was really rapping about me and didn't know it. Okay, I am the Stunner. I am the Shocker. And today we're going to keep talking about followers. Now, today I want to talk about another follower, okay? In order for us men to eliminate this gay spirit in the earth, we have to appreciate the women. We have to appreciate their beauty. And we have to appreciate the virgins once again. Okay, and I'm here to do that. I'm here to restore true religion. And right now I have been focusing on some of my followers and on the screen right now, you see a follower. Now, this girl right here has no idea that I did a video on her tonight, but her name is Haley Booker. Now, I'm going to prove to you that Haley or Ali, Ali, all those pronunciations, all those pronunciations are the same thing. And I'm going to prove to you that Ali is on the moon. Now I'm going to go to Safari real quick. So as you can see, the name Ali is written on the moon. In Arabic, it's a music note. Now, Muslims are against music. Real Muslims are against music. And so, therefore, this is my name that's on the moon because I'm here to bring the dancing back. I'm here to bring the music back. I'm here to crack the government seal on alcohol as well. I'm here to revise the law and complete the Quran. I'm here to do all these things. And my name is on the moon. I'm going to show you another album that I did. And this will be another confirmation of my name being on the moon. Now, look in this picture right here. Look exactly where my head is at. It's right there on the music note. Exactly like my name is on the moon, like I told you. I'm the real Cassius Clay. I'm the real Muhammad Ali. I'm the reason why Muhammad Ali journeyed all the way to Mecca. I'm the reason why Malcolm X journeyed all the way to Mecca to kiss the rock because I am that rock. Okay, so as you can see, I am the black stone surrounded by the silver. You see those two pictures? Those two girls are virgins. I am the black stone you face and point to on the chief corner side of the Kaaba in total agreement with my son, the prophet Isa. He said the stone in which the builders rejected that same stone has become the chief corner stone, the chief prophet. He's big daddy. He's the Big Mac. And that is me. 
Everything Jesus said, everything Jesus did in his ministry was to glorify his father, which is me, Al Matty, and I'm here, along with the prophet Issa's mother, the last witness, which is a woman of Mexico. We are here. We are the last two witnesses. I'm the black stone surrounded by the steel, the silver. And my task is to take the cob apart and put it back together in the designated location. And then prayer will be restored once again because prayer has been restrained right now until the prophet Isa returns. And then he will be asked to pray and he will decline. Why? Because his father is here. If your dad is here and you've been asked to pray, who would you rather have pray? You or your dad? And that's why Al Madi leads the prayer once prayer is restored so as we can see my name is on the moon okay now going back to this woman she's striking dead gorgeous let me tell you something man this woman right here is gorgeous now this is just one picture she don't have many pictures okay okay and i'm telling you this girl is gorgeous she's petite she takes care of her body she's a chef not only that she's a book reader like her last name now i just showed you that ali is on the moon her name is on the moon because it's my name now inside booker is kobe now look at this blind prophet she is taking a picture with Purple flowers with yellow flowers. The Lakers. Okay, because in her name is Kobe. So she's taking a picture. She doesn't know why she's taking this picture with purple and yellow or purple and gold. Why? Because I'm the real Bishop Nathaniel. I'm the real Kobe Bryant. My name is Daquan. Okay, Ant in our name. Ant is going into anointed. Ant is going into hard worker like an ant. According to the Quran, an ant prophesied about Solomon. Told the ants to watch out because Solomon might step on you and I'm the last Solomon. I am the Solomon your prophet has been living poor for and not one Muslim except one has sent a dime to al -Madi. Okay. It goes down. Now, Haley Booker is taking a picture in the flowers of purple and gold. Why? Because she is recognizing her Lord, Al Madi. She is prostrating right now before Al Madi in the purple and gold. Okay? And this woman right here is a woman I work with. She used to stay in the mountains. See, Lamonti. Okay? This woman is in Bear Valley. Okay, this is my co-worker. This girl works hard. I'm telling you. Every girl that I have put on my channel works harder, cleans up better than my daughters. Okay? And this woman knows how to cook. This woman works hard. This woman ain't a slacker. This woman is independent. Anytime I try to help her with something, she'll be like, nope, I got it. She's independent. She's a hard worker. She's beautiful and she's single. All oh, praises be to Allah. Look at this woman. She's taking a picture in the purple and gold. Now look at that. Purple and gold again. Purple and gold. Purple and gold. Purple and gold. Because she can see me. She looking directly at me. I am Al Matty. Okay. And Haley. And let me tell you something. She cut her hair too man. It made her extra cute. I played a joke on her. Okay. When I came in and I seen her with her hair cut. I was like. Who is this new employee? Hi. My name is D. What's your name? Okay. I was messing with her because she cute, man, and she petite, nice, petite, and I bet you she's sweet. We can stop there, all right? Now, I love her. I don't 
know her, but I love her. I care about her. I was thinking about her for the last two days. Although, okay, this woman doesn't know anything about me. I'm just the new black guy that was working around the same time she started working in the mulligan. Okay, in the mulligan room. And her name is Haley. Let me tell you something. There was a friend I had by the name of Haley. And I've been trying to look her up. She is gorgeous. And she's light-skinned. And this woman had an encounter with my girlfriend. All three of us. We had an awesome night. I invited her to my girlfriend's apartment. And we had a threesome. Don't trip out. It's in your Bible. Go to Psalms 45. King David had more than a threesome. He slept with his virgins. And he slept with his wife, friends. Okay? And it's in your Bible. Now, me, Chantel, and Haley did this. And Haley, that was her first time. And... It's all going into receiving Daddy Al Matty. That's all it was. Haley was a woman that she received me and she obeyed me. Okay? Just like that. And this woman is a picture of this man right here. Right here. Let's go to him. Right on the screen, you see Kobe Bryant. You see the purple and gold. This man died for me with his daughter. He died for me with his daughter. His wife was rewarded because that's symbolic of my wife. She's going to get rewarded because she helped me find the Kaaba. But my wife's daughter is the last witness. And she died with Kobe. Just like my last wife that I was legally married to, LaShonda. She died along with another man. The last two witnesses die together like Bonnie and Clyde, like the last two twin towers. At the same time, it goes down. Okay? I'm the son. Kobe is Cody. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of my tattoo on the screen. Let me go to my camera. Now, look at this. As you can see on the screen... I'm about to show you my tattoo. All right. Two, six. Kobe died on the 26th of January. It's right on my wrist. Right on my wrist is the death of Kobe Bryant. January 26th is on my wrist. Okay. Right now, I'm staying at 206 West East. Why? Because this is the day when the sun will rise from the West. I'm here. I'm Al Maddie. My address is 206 West East. Okay? Half. Why half? Because I'm not alone. I have the last day witness with me, and she's here. Okay? It goes down in the house of David. Okay? And I'm showing you that right here on my wrist. Kobe Bryant dying for me. His daughter dying for me. Rich homie Quan dying for me. I'm the son. Now let's hurry up and go back to her. Look at her. She's taking the pictures kneeling in the flowers. Why flowers? Because we can't forget about the Virgin Mary. Okay, I'm Juan. I'm Juani. I'm Juan Diego. My flowers turned into an image because I have the last witness with me. She's a woman. We like to call her Rose. Me and Elena was up last night, and she called me back this morning after we was up all night talking. And I told her, I said, the last witness, I said, her name is a Rose, and she just busted up. She's a Rose. I'm the lily in the valley. I'm the man with the waves in my head, and I'm going to take apart the copper. Now, I'm going to close, but I'm going I'm to show you who everybody is supposed to kiss.
Okay, so now we're going to go to who you supposed to kiss. Now, on the screen, you see a lip. You see a mouth. You see all those prints that are in the lips, how it's distinguished from the rest of the face. It's the fingerprint of the face. And those lips have those waves, those curves, okay? It has all of those lines because it's supposed to kiss this person that has this raisin-shaped head, as you can see on the screen, okay? This is the equivalent of a fingerprint unlock. This is the equivalent of a combination code. This is the equivalent of a DNA strand connecting, okay? This is whom you are supposed to kiss, and this is the reason why Muslims kiss the Hadra Aswa. They have no clue, but I'm here to enlighten you. All kisses come to al -Mahdi. Why? Because I had to become a son. A father had to become a son. So unless you kiss me, unless you touch me in sincerity, the anger is going to be released upon you on judgment day, okay? If you touch me in sincerity, you're going to be good. But if not, you're going to be judged. So there's the perfect match of the lips touching the person who has those raisins in his head, who's going to give resurrection to the nation of Israel because all of the people are going to have these raisin-shaped heads. What I mean by that is they're going to have these codes. They're going to have these top-tier marks upon their head, okay? They're going to have their father's head. They're going to have their father's name written on their heads. Why? Because their father has the raisin-shaped Head. Now, I tried to break it down in many different analogies to try to get you to get it, okay? Your lip prints is made to kiss a person who has these prints in his head, and it's me. I'm Al Matty. Kiss the son, lest he be angry with you. Now, let's keep going in Isaiah 49, San Francisco. Who are you supposed to kiss? I'm going to show you in the Bible who you supposed to kiss. Now, in life, we have things such as a fingerprint ID. OK, we have things such as uh, face uh, unlock things that when you put your fingerprint, it unlocks something. And that's all going into the man that has the raisin head. And I'm going to prove that to you. Now, let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter two, starting off at verse 10. Be wise now, therefore, O you kings, and be instructed, you judges of the earth. Why? Because al -Mahdi judges the earth. Now watch this. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. Now, this is going into al -Mahdi. Why? Because the daddy had to become a son, so he's pissed off. This is not Jesus. Okay, Jesus was a pacifist. He said, if you live by the sword, you will die by the sword. He said, if you hit on one cheek, what? Turn to the other cheek. This is not Jesus. The son is al -Mahdi. He is the father who became a son. This is why his name is Lamonti, because he's a rock. He came out of heaven. He was once whiter than milk, but he's black. Why? Because he has to take on sin. And that's me. I'm on the chief corner side of the Kaaba. I'm who you pray to, okay? I'm the high priest of Islam, me and the last witness. And so, therefore, it says, kiss the son, lest he be angry. And what do you do to this cobblestone? You kiss it. You point to it. You touch it. Why? Because this stone is going to judge you. And that's the real truth. Allah told me he's going to raise me up and I'm going to judge the world. I have an album in 2012 by the name 
of grace verse law. I'm going to show you that real quick on the screen. This is my album cover of 2012, and I'm the one who designed this album cover. And as you can see, Allah is rescuing only me. Only me. Okay, and I'm with the last witness. Why? Because we both are one. Okay, so we won. And as you can see right here, this is confirmed. Years ago, 2012, Allah is saying the same thing. He's saying I'm al Mahdi, and he's saying he's going to raise me up. As you can see, I'm raising me up. If you look at the word grace, G equals 7, R equals 18, A equals 1, C equals 3, E equals 5. And that all equals 34. So in 2034, Allah's going to raise me up. Can you see? He's going to raise me up. To judge the world. He's going to raise up that raisin head brother. To judge the world. Okay. That's why in Islam. You kiss the stone. You kiss the Hadraswat. You kiss it. That way your sins get taken away. You point to it. You touch it. Why? Because it's going to judge you. And the Muslims. The Christians and all of humanity, we all haven't been taught. So we don't know that that stone that the Muslims face was actually al Mahdi. Okay. Now I'm going to take you to Isaiah. I'm going to show you right here in Isaiah 49, 6 that I'm going to raise up. Get it? Raising head. Raising up the 12 tribes of Israel. Remember, I will raise up for them a prophet like Moses. This is all going into the man that has the fingerprint to decode the Bible. This is the going into the man who has all of the world's IDs. Now, let's go to the screen. OK, preferably the daughters. OK, Paul wanted to be the father. He had the sons. I'm Al Matty. I'm the real daddy. I have the daughters. OK, the assignment of my life was this Daquan, you married to one woman, but you about to go to a younger woman. There was a house in the city of South Bend and there was a white girl on top that I was sleeping with. And there was a black girl on the bottom I was sleeping with. OK, I was sleeping with two women in the same house and it was and it's really vice versa. The black woman, now that I think about it, she was on the top floor and the white girl was on the bottom floor. But I was sleeping with both of them in the same house. OK, one on the top, one on the bottom. Why? Not just for sexual purposes. OK, God desires godly seed out of sex. It's not about pleasure. It's about a godly seed coming out of sex. And the reason why Allah allowed me to sleep with two women. Because one was on the top and one was on the bottom, because in the future, I'm going to go from a mama and I'm going to go to a daughter. That's the assignment of my life. Isaiah 49, 6 to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel. I'm the real Bishop Nathaniel. Why? Because 11 tribes is coming out of three virgins of Mexico. And I've already completed some of my work because my first tribe is already out because my son is out. Al Maddie, I am here. OK, now I went into the Bible. Let's go to Isaiah 49 and 6. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob. Now, right now, I stay on West East Street. Across the street from me is a restaurant called Jake the Steakhouse. <laughs> All right. And I worked in there. OK, right across the street is a restaurant called Jake the Steakhouse. Why? Because they knew Al Matty was coming. I'm the real Jacob. I'm the last Jacob here to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel with my raisin head because I'm the chief of all the Arabs. Okay. Now, according to Isaiah 49 and 6, it says that I will raise up the 12 tribes of Israel coming from my loins. Now, I'm going to go to another picture on my screen.
This is a raising head. Now, when I was young, I used to go to school. I had my hair short and I had waves in my head. There was a white girl by the name of Christy. I'll never forget it. She asked me permission to wave her white hand through my hair because it was full of waves. I had a 360. I had a honeycomb. Why? Because I was the real B. I was the real Bilal. I was Al Matty. And she put her hands on my head. Why? Because I'm the man that has the raisin shaped head. That is the ruler of the Arabs. Now let's get that. Hey, deep right here. As you can see on the screen, it reads Allah's messenger. Now I'm going to give you a, a clue. Every last companion that wrote every Hadith is all connected to Al Mahdi. And every person in the Quran, every person in the Hadiths, every person in the Bible is all named after Al Mahdi. And all these names is really his. For instance, when it says Abin Abbas or Anaz Bin, that's all going into the original Abin Raba, the original Bilal. OK, the Denzel Washington plan in the movie we call Book of Eli that was sent here to restore true religion and to complete the Quran and rewrite the Bible. That's my job. And it says Allah's messenger, peace be upon the Arabian prophet that was using my name. You should listen and obey your ruler, even if he was an Ethiopian black slave whose head looked like a raisin whose head full of waves whose head is little this is me okay this is al Matty. this is the real bill cosby now when you look at bill cosby let's go to him and this is really going to kill it so you can understand when you go to bill cosby Gil bill cosby is a picture of me you see those waves in his forehead? He's a picture of the man that's going to take the Kaaba apart and put it back together. He's a picture of the man who is the ruler of the Arabs, although they being racist right now. I'm friends with all kind of Muslims on Facebook, and not one of them has received me as al Mahdi. You know why? Because they racist. They don't know that Islam came from a black man. They don't know that it was a black man that woke them up to pray. They don't know and they don't remember and they're ungrateful for me. Islam is Lamontes. My name is on the cover of the Quran, the da Quran. Okay? They want to hit the Quran. You heard that song, Hit the Quran? That's gonna happen. Al Mahdi has to die along with the mother of the Prophet Isa after the death of the Prophet Isa in the future. And the Muslims. Little are they grateful. Now, the reason why Bill Cosby also was taking pictures with the jello box is because Al Matty has a halo. He has a halo, and I'm the man that's going to take apart the Kaaba, get it? One stone at a time. That's why he's taking a picture with a box. You see? With a box. Because he's going to take the Kaaba apart one stone at a time, and he looks like me. He looks like my dad. He looks like my granddaddy. I'm not lying. I'm skinny. I got skinny legs and I got a little head and I got wrinkles in my forehead because I'm the chief. And there's a woman walking around who's chief, too. OK, and she has the waves in her head. This is seen in the movie Columbiana. Duh. When you watch the movie Columbiana, what do you see? You see a girl with waves in her head. Her parents look like Arabs. But she blacker than all of them. Okay? And she's really the chief. And she's really protected for a certain amount of time. That's why when they killed her parents, she was still allowed to get away. Because she was protected through the necklace. Gadaliah. Gadaliah is going into Rose. The last witness. Rose is here. She's here. The last witness is a woman. From the Mexican nation. And the movie Colombiana was about a woman who is married to Al Matty and is going to take the Kaaba apart one piece at a time. That's why at the end she got Mr. Don Louise. And what did she do? She sent the dogs on him and it tore his Kaaba apart. And that's what's going to happen. 
I'm going to take the Kaaba apart in Saudi Arabia live. Okay? On HD TV. 1080p HDMI. Why? Because inside that is Almaty. Inside of Almaty, you got HDMI. Okay? I'm the prophet right now whom Allah is directly, get it? Directly HD speaking to. And I'm going to take the Kaaba apart and I'm going to put it back together right where I'm staying. My wife found this house just like your prophet's camel found the location of the first mosque. al Madi is here. Okay? I'm the Islamic Messiah. Okay? I'm the heir of the world. I'm going to judge the world. So is it a light thing that I looked at her page? Okay? I never said anything disrespectful to her. I never asked her anything inappropriate. Okay, all I've done was compliment her. And I realized that Haley Booker is going into Al Matty. She's named after me. My name is on the moon. My name is Mr. Kobe. My name, get it? Booker Eli. My name is Booker. My name is Kobe. Okay? If you really look at her name, only thing missing is an N, and you can spell Quran in her name, okay? Now, I'm so grateful, I'm so blessed to be around people in my life who have helped me. There were some friends I tried to look up, as you can see, that I just, I couldn't find. I couldn't find them. They low profile. But this woman right here, let's go back to her, because we went to Bill Cosby. This woman right here is in prostration before the one and only true God. And she's honoring Al Maddie as the last messenger. That's amazing. That is amazing. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. Now let's go back to my uh, web browser and I staged some things before I started. Now I'm the real SpongeBob. You see SpongeBob, the real SpongeBob is a gangster. He's a gangster. You see his head? He has all the waves. He has all of the sponges in his head. He's a picture of Al Matty. That's why if you watch SpongeBob, it's all about SpongeBob. Okay? It's all about Mr. Two Scoops, Two Spoons. Okay, Mr. Raisin Bran. Get it? <laughs> you get two scoops with Raisin Bran. I get three scoops. I got three virgins from Mexico. Okay? That I get to make bleed. That I get to make bleed. To create Israel all over again. All over again. To eliminate the gay tribe of Paul. Benjamin. Okay? Israel is going to be recreated fresh and if you read the gospel of Barnabas soon as you open the preface it'll tell you that Paul was deceived Paul wanted to be Al Mati. okay Al Mati is going to restart the 12 tribes of Israel and that can't be Paul because he couldn't he couldn't he didn't even have a wife okay I'm here now going back to my web browser let's see what else I had we covered it I'm this guy right here. L.A. means the. I'm the son. Do you know I stay on Curry Street? Lakers get it? Curry? I stay on Curry Street. I stay on Curry Street. I'm 42. His number's 24. 24 is going into the last day. My last name is Clay. My last name is Day. The Quran instructs you to believe in Allah and the last day. And I'm going to spell my name. This is how you spell my name. All right. This is Clay. C-L-A-Y. But when you take a C, lowercase c, and you push it close to a L-A-Y, this is what it says. It says day. I'm the last day. I'm the last dawn. I'm the real flavor flav walking around with the clock. Okay. I'm the real day day and Friday. Okay, I'm here. Wake up. 
I'm here. This is a picture of the sun. This is a picture of a man that Allah is most closest to. And I did not know this person was me. All right. So, assalamu alaikum. I love Haley. I appreciate her. I pray to Allah that I continue to be her friend. I respect her. I didn't violate her. All I did was show the truth. Okay. That's why I'm Snoop Dogg. People probably going to be like, oh, man, he's he's me. He just looked at her page and blah, 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 blah. Now I'm Snoop Dogg. Now I'm a dog because I snooped. OK, all I did was show the truth. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth.